Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of describing the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a student that's going to graph the point 5 comma 3 on a coordinate grid and then we need to figure out what the steps are. And so let's see if we can draw ourselves a little bit of a coordinate grid here. And so in fifth grade we're just looking at positive numbers here. And so we need to label this correctly here. So we're going to start right here right where they intersect. Remember, they're always making a 90 degree perpendicular angle here. This is going to be zero in for both axes. Now, the axis that goes across from side to side, that is our X axis. So it's going to be labeled with a little X, typically over at the very end by the arrow. And the X axis is completely horizontal. And then we've got our Y axis, and it's also up at the top near the arrow and that is going to be completely vertical. Now when we're looking at our point we've got 5 comma 3. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where we start and which direction we move and so let's go ahead and get some points on here first. Let's label them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 1, 2, 3, Four, five. It seems like 5 is the large number we have, so we don't really need to go past that. So how do we start with this? Well, first let's label this as x and y. We need to understand that the x value is first, the y value is second. So think of it in alphabetical order. Even though we get to the very end of the alphabet, x still comes before y. And so we're always going to deal with this first value first. Now, remember, we've already labeled this axis, the horizontal axis, as our x-axis. And so you notice all of these options start at the exact same spot, and they label a place the origin. And we've already labeled it. We just might not have realized it. The origin, and origin means beginning place, the origin is 0, 0. So that's where everything begins. That's where the two axes meet, and so we are going to start right there, and then we're going to move in two directions. First, we are going to move along the x-axis, which means we are going to be moving to the right, because as we start with our zero, we have positive numbers here. When you get into sixth grade, you'll learn about negative numbers, and this coordinate grade gets a little bit more complicated with negative numbers. So we are going to start to the, moving to the right and we're going to move five units because that's what our x coordinate is. It is five units. So I'm just going to kind of do a few jumps here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put a little dot right there just to kind of hold our spot but that's not where the ultimate landing spot is going to be. So once we do that we are going to then move along the y-axis and you notice our y-axis moves up so then we are going to move next y up three but remember we ended right here over on the x-axis with five so we're going to move up one we're going to move up two and there we go let's put a big dot right there to show the intersection of here's our point five comma three so that's how we plot 5, 3. Now, what did we end up doing? We started at the origin. We did not move up. So that is incorrect. We moved to the right first. Started at the origin. Move 5 units right. So this is good. Move up 3. Move 3 units right. Move 5 units right. And then 3 units right. Nope, that's incorrect. So A is wrong. B is wrong. C. Start at the origin. Move 5 units up. Incorrect. Let's hope it's D. Start at the origin, yes. Move five units right, yes. Move three units, yes. There we go. Our answer is D.